Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be focusing on retail. And the book we're going to be reading is called Stick and Stone. But before we get into that book, let's review some other things. Let's review. A good retail includes the setting, characters, the problem, the solution, and you can include all those things with what happens in the beginning, middle, and end. So we're going to practice by reading a short story. A good story retail includes the setting, the time and the place it takes place, the characters, the people or animals who act out the story, the problem, the struggle the character is having, the happenings, the things that are happening in the beginning, middle, and end, and then the solution, how the story was tied up, how it was fixed, how it all came together. I'm going to read a short story and put these pictures in order and retell. Sam went fishing. He grabbed his tackle box and then his worms. He put a worm on the hook and then threw the line into the pond. Sam felt a big tug on the fishing pole. He caught a fish. So I'm gonna retell, I'm gonna to remember to use my transitional words. I'm gonna start with in the beginning. You can, write, you can say first, in the beginning. Um, that's the word I'm gonna to use to introduce my story. So in the beginning, Sam grabbed his tackle box and then he grabbed his worms. After he grabbed his tackle box and worms, he put a worm on the hook. Ooh. Then he threw his fishing line into the pond and he waited and waited. <gasps> and then he felt a tug. Last, Sam caught a fish. Yay! The Ant and the Grasshopper. We're going to read a story that is probably familiar to you, and then we're going to practice retelling it. One day, Grasshopper was laying in the hot sun just singing. La, 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 la. The ants were busy finding grain to store for winter. Slow down, ant. It is too hot to work, called Grasshopper. You should be finding grain for winter, too, ant called back. But Grasshopper paid no attention to ants' advice. When cold winter came, the ants kept warm and ate their grain. One cold morning, the ants saw Grasshopper. <laughs> may, may, may I have some of your grain, Grasshopper asked. Where is your grain, ants asked Grasshopper. I was too busy singing to go find any, said Grasshopper. You can have some grain, but next year, you must find your own before winter, said Ant. The end. Retelling sheet. So in a good retell, we always tell the characters, the setting, the beginning, middle, and end. And in the beginning and middle and end, we always add the problem and solution. So I'll start with characters. In the story we just read, the characters were the grasshopper and the ants. Very good. Hmm, the setting. Uh, there were actually two types of setting here, because remember, it was summer. It was warm and then it was winter. So I'm gonna write outside, because they were definitely outside, outside in a grassy area, and then indoors in the winter. Beginning. What happened in the beginning of the story? Yes, the grasshopper was just singing all day and the ants were working really hard and he wasn't doing anything. So before I write down that, I need to really think about my sentence because I don't just want to go on and on and it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to write, in the beginning, the grasshopper was singing all day and the ants were working all day. In the beginning, grasshopper was singing all day and the ants were working all day. Hmm. What happened in the middle? Yes, winter came and the ants had plenty of food and grasshopper had none. So next, using that transitional word, next winter came and the ants had plenty of food. Grasshopper, was cold and had no 
food. And how did the story end? Yes, the ants were generous and they gave him some grain, but they said, hey, next year you have to work for this. So I'm going to start with a transitional word. Last, the ants gave grasshopper some grain, but told him you must work for your food next winter. Stick and stone. Stick. Stone. Lonely. Alone. A zero. A one. Alone is no fun. Stick. Stone. Along comes pine cone. Makes fun of stone. <laughs> Won't leave him alone. <laughs> Vanish, says Stick. His word does the trick. Stone whispers, Gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick. Stone. No longer alone. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, explore. By the shore. Then thunder. And rain. A loud hurricane. Stick is wind blown. There goes Pinecone. Hold on, calls out Stone. Again, he's alone. Search day. Search night. 
No stick in sight. this? Help! A huge puddle? Stick stuck in the muddle. Help! Stone rescues him quick. Cowabunga! Curse! Boosh! says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks, too. Stick, stone, together again. Stick, Stone, a perfect ten. To the end.